Bueno, sí. That's old school intro there. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to my balcony. I was sitting out here just enjoying, relaxing, and I'm like, I'd rather do this with some friends. So I see a couple of you are in here. Hello and welcome and thank you for coming in. I'm going to show you my view here in a moment. Megan, that intro is so nostalgic, <laughs> nostalgic, right? I got to update it because it's a, a little old. I'm sorry, I have like a little hurt here. But anyway, yeah, I got to definitely update it. Um, but I still want to keep a lot of those pictures, <laughs> you know? Um, oh, my friend, I miss you so much. Lazy days in the house as well. We were talking on our chat and we got to somehow get back to our other channel and start doing that. I miss it so much. I don't know if you guys remember, like I couldn't get it to do the double screen anymore. And now my computer completely crashed. So I need a new computer and <laughs> that's kind of hard to do. And what's very upsetting is that that Mac was not even two years old. And I took it back to try to get it fixed. And they were like, it's $1,000 to fix. So I'm not going to spend that money. I'd rather buy a new one. But I can't do that right now. Mike's in the house. Welcome. How are you, Mike? I miss you so much as well. You know, it's been, it's been kind of weird, you know, not having the computer to do lives and, you know, just life in general has been kind of weird. But as I mentioned, Ba had to come up here, you know, we were, we went and we had breakfast this morning on the ship and I'm, I'll tell you a little bit about the ship here shortly, but, um, first, can you hear me? Okay. Is, does the wind sound, is it too heavy? Let me know. I have a bathing suit under, so this is kind of awkward. Anyway, we went to breakfast this morning and then uh, walked around and we were going to go to the pools, but they're so packed. On sea days, they're so packed and I just will not go get in with 10 million people in the water. The girls were in the, wa the, in the pool last night, like at 10 o'clock at night, um, having drinks and having a, just a great time. But um, yeah, this is the odyssey of the seas. And I, oh, another thing is I'm trying this vertical thing because everybody's doing that so um i find it a little awkward but i don't know i said let me give it a try okay perfect so you guys can hear you Alyssa's in the house hi my friend how are you welcome i hope you're getting ready for your alaska cruise because at least when you're Floridian, that's a lot of shopping to get ready to go to alaska i remember you know and i've been twice you know, I had to get the jackets and the boots, which, which, by the way, I got Doc Martens for that Alaska trip, and I only wore them one time. And you know those things are expensive. Um, yeah, yeah, me too, me too, girl. Uh, I'm so glad you're good, and I am enjoying the cruise. Uh, every, everybody says everything sounds great. And Bob's here. Come say hi, Bob. 
I'll put it to the thing. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Directly from our balcony. Yadi should have put this thing this way, like this, I and switch the other way. To, Bobby, I don't have to Look, switch. Yadi should do this. Honey, I don't have to switch that. Oh, my God. Look, you're messing everything up. Um. So, so you guys can see a better view. Yes, honey, I was going to show them, but you don't have to switch the whole thing like, like that. But, oh, Lord. Hold on. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, God. See, Yadi should put the chair over here with this background okay but here you go. and that will be much better but anyways how is everyone doing out there we're here enjoying our balcony and uh we've had a great time so far we got a couple of days to go before we go back home I'm getting homesick guys here thanks let's see but anyways i'm gonna leave you back with yadi sorry i look upside down but i'm trying my best for you guys to see my bald head that i just shaved it so <laughs> okay boss so it's bye guys see for me so do you want to see that we have to see this is what you gotta do you gotta get over here like this i send there now put your thing here so you, so you can have that background okay that's what you do okay but what i was gonna do okay. was just fill them put the new chair here okay no no hold on okay. all right guys hold on i'm situating you okay, i see it Okay. That better? So, yeah, hold on. There you go. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Buffy, put your chair that way for me. Hey, guys, once again. <laughs> we're back. Oh, I love it when he shaves and there's no, there, it just feels so yummy. <laughs> like my bald head. You guys, there's a funny story about that bald head. Let me tell you. So, of course, when we met, you know, it's going to be 32 years. We met. Too much information. <laughs> he had so much hair. It was crazy how much hair Pa had, right? And so when we started having kids and stuff, he slowly started losing his hair. And I was dying because I was like, oh, my gosh, my hubby is going to look so crazy with no hair. I would call him droopy. Um, I would call him like I would think I would be like, oh, he's gonna look like droopy. It's gonna be horrible. So anyway, he starts losing his hair. You know, many years later, I I'm gonna say oh, when the girls were like maybe sixteen was when he started losing his hair like a lot, and I was freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, he's gonna look so horrible. Anyway, he goes bald, and I'm obsessed absolutely obsessed with his bald head <laughs> and but i don't like when he has like uh when, when you can feel it when it's growing out so he just shaped it and i love it when it's like whatever so life is crazy right because i was so worried about that and like i love him bald so um, i'm worried about getting my stuff together it's a lot of stuff to get together Hopefully you're not like me. I took a hundred pounds, actually a hundred and two pounds. Luckily, I was able to put two pounds in the in another friend's um luggage because it was crazy. Everybody's saying hi to Pa. He's finishing up his head. He went back inside. Um, yeah, it was crazy. This hi, Mandy. This last month has been tough because I lost my grandfather. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for your loss, Mandy. Oh, that's so sad. I, I, I know what you're going through. I lost my grandfathers and my great grandfathers. Of course, I'm much older than you, but it was tough when that happened. So I'm so sorry for your loss. Boo, welcome in. Warm, strong adventures. Welcome. My, my dad always said, bold is, bald is better than balding. Facts, facts. Ah, oh, your dad too, Megan. And I can't wait to see your pictures. Everybody, please congratulate Megan. She just got married in January to the most beautiful, amazing person. And the wedding was just spectacular. She looked gorgeous. You could see her pictures on Instagram. 
And now she's going on her amazing European honeymoon. Um, yeah, saying that. And hi, Liz Lizbeth, how are you? Um, so yeah, here we are, and isn't it beautiful, guys? I mean, the the balcony. There's nothing like having a balcony and not having to be with the masses, you know, especially on a sea day where um, the pool deck is packed. I mean, it's been very, very packed. And uh, oh my God, how exciting. In a few hours you leave to the airport. That is so exciting, my girl. I can't wait to see all the pictures and everything. Andrew, how are you? Love to love seeing you here. Thank you so much, Andrew. Miss you too. And John's in the house. Hello, welcome, welcome. So, guys, I was saying, you know, especially these days, I don't, you know, it's like some of you know I have like anxiety and a lot of things going on, and it's just hanging, you know, being with so many people, I can't. I can't do it. You know, I could do it for a little while and then I just, I can't. So even uh, the other day they were having the belly flop competition, which I used to enjoy so much, but that gets like this. So literally I vlogged, I guess the first two or three people and then I was out of there. I had to go. So um, coming out here and having your own balcony is, is amazing. Our last cruise, it was only a three day. So I only got an ocean view and I can tell you, I missed it so much because you know there's nothing more relaxing than being here and you know it has a lounger that goes back a little bit and a little footstool and it's just i've been out here for i would say an hour before i decided to go live just just hanging and chilling and it's amazing but um i got i wanted to mention that this is the first time we've been on board a quantum class ship so we've been on all Oasis class ships on on Royal Caribbean, obviously. And so we've been on the Oasis, the Allure, the Harmony, the Symphony, and the Wonder. Those are the five. And um, it's situated, I, you know, so this one is between the Freedom class and the Oasis class when it comes to how big it is. But it's it's situated so weird, like... Uh, the Oasis class, so you have your cafe promenade, you know, Bob drinks coffee all day long. And you can get it pretty much all the way till 11 p.m. Here, there's only two places where you can get coffee. Actually, three. Luckily, we are, you know, the diamond level where, where you enter into, like, a, a crown lounge that you're invited to. And they have, like, coffee that's included, espressos that's included, all those things um, that are... Are included so he's luckily he could always get it there but like to get coffee you either have to go to the windjammer or you have to go to cafe 270. the windjammer is on deck 14 towards the back of the ship and then cafe 270 is on the fifth deck all the way towards the back so it's it's a trek just to go get coffee the ship as i, I mentioned is is it's very pretty but it's just the layout I can't get used to. And and I don't know. We're on our, tomorrow we're at Coco Cay. And then Sunday we're back home. Oh my gosh, Andrew. And I love Odyssey. Maria went to Europe two years ago. Amazing ship. Yes, it's a beautiful ship. And big hugs to Maria for me. Love her so much. I miss you guys. We We need to go out. We need to put something together and go out. But. You know, it's a little different for me now. We'll talk about that later, but we'll we'll, we'll definitely need to go up. Um, so yeah, she's beautiful. We did the um this thing that uh it's called the North Star. It's like a ball, and you'll see it on one of my vlogs, and it takes you really high up on the ship. That was amazing. We did it during during sunset. It was beautiful the views were incredible then another thing that you have here is bumper cars which guys i was doing everything i could to avoid the bumps because i have those back issues now and but you know i'm not letting it 
ruined my life. You know, I have my medicine and I'm like, and like my doctor said, cause I asked him about slides and this and that. He's like, you're still going to hurt no matter what you do or whatever. So do what you want to do. So I said, you know, I'm going to do the bumper cars, but I was avoiding everybody. I got hit two times really bad. And guess who those two times I got hit from? It was Bob. He didn't mean to, but Fa, you know, was the two times I got, I was like, I can't believe it. One of them, I haven't had to stop the rod because it actually did jolt me and hurt. I was like, what luck do I have? But anyway, um, that's the thing. Now, remember, I don't drink coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker. I only drink caramel frappuccinos when I'm on a ship. And that just started happening in January when I tried it for the first time. So I had one in January on the Icon of the Seas. Then I had one on the Liberty of the Seas. And I had, I've had two here. And I only drink half of it because it's like too much and too sugary and all that stuff. But um, luckily, I don't have to look for coffee because I will drink coffee. But of course, if my man needs coffee, he needs coffee. And But the bottom, the worst part is... Yo, he drinks coffee all day long. That's why I'm, I guess I'm not liking this because I have to follow him around to go get his coffee. And he he drinks it. Like this morning, he's had three coffees already. So, and they're not coffee. They're espresso. And they're not as strong as what he gets at home, which is Cuban coffee. So then he drinks it even more, you know? And I think that's one of the big reasons I don't drink coffee because I just seeing him how addicted and how he can't live without it. it it's just, I, you know, I, I never wanted to, you know, from day one when we started dating, it was a thing. He's his Cuban coffee all morning, all night, you know, all the time. And luckily for him, since we have that diamond lounge. He could get it at 12 o'clock at, at night at one or two. If we're out and about, he could just go there and he does it for himself. So um, was it hard getting used to the icon deck plan? Not at all. So that's what I'm saying. This has been hard for me to get used to the Odyssey, the quantum class. Um, Cause if you're used to the Oasis class, the icon is very, very similar just much wider and um, easier actually to get to different, like from Central Park, the promenade, um, the boardwalk, which on theirs is Surfside. It just was much easier. I can't do Space Mountain anymore. It bothers my back. I guess the sun turns in the dark. Yeah, I haven't done Space Mountain since I started having these health issues. Um, I think the last time I did it was about a year ago. But, you know, um, I, I've i already got one shot for my back, um, which made things a lot better. I'm still on muscle relaxers. Um, and and like my doctor said that, that the, the, you know, like if you're going down slides, you know, it shouldn't make it worse. You know, it's just going to, you know, just be careful. Like the bumper cars, just be careful not to jolt yourself so much, but it shouldn't make it worse. And, and I have to get another shot anyway. So, you know, that it is what it is. You have to make decisions, but, you know, I, I, I want to live life. I feel like, you know, I still love doing things. I, I love the rides. I love this, of course anxiety um gets in the way of some things lately like this the last two crews have been a little bit different you know icon for some reason i felt like myself i had just gotten one of the shots you know i had just gotten the new meds they put me on and on i i don't know if it was because i was so busy or so excited um I don't know what it was, but Icon of the Seas was just like a perfect vacation. It felt like, you know, my old self. I felt amazing all the time. You know, it was it was really, really great. Liberty, not so much. And this one, not so much. I mean, I'm having a great time. Trust me, I'm having a great time. But as you guys see, I don't go live as often as I used to on the ships and things like that because, 
you know, uh, dealing with all the other things. But it's been a lot of fun. My girls are here. Um, they're having a great time. I'm missing David like crazy, but I FaceTime him a couple of times um, a week. Uh, a week. A couple of times a day. So I get to see him. Um, but yeah, the ship is, is a very beautiful ship. I'm, I'm just... I like the Oasis class and Icon class layout more. Um, the Cplex, the, uh, I'm telling you, the Cplex here, it's uh, where they do the bumper cars and a couple of other, other things were, it's amazing. It's so beautiful. Then um, you have the sky skydiving thing, which I'm doing tomorrow. I'm just doing the one minute flight. And I wanted to wait uh, to the last days. I had it actually for yesterday, but we canceled it and rescheduled it for to, for tomorrow. Because I said that was safer in case something goes wrong and I don't feel good after it. <coughs> Excuse me. If something goes wrong and I don't feel good afterwards, I don't ruin my vacation, right? Because the next day we're going home. So, um, hey. How are you, my friend? Welcome. You're on the Carnival Sunshine. How fun. I hope you're having an amazing time. That's so great. I love it when we're on ships and talking to each other. But um, so the food has been good today. We ate breakfast at the Solarium Bistro, which was really nice. I was going to do main dining, but we ended up going to the Bistro, and I really enjoyed that. Um, a local fresh on board. Oh my God, so amazing. Oh my gosh, here's another set I've missed so much. How are you guys? Big hugs to you and the family. I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Um, yeah, so, so I was saying that the, the uh, local fresh here, you know, on all ships it hits the spot, but oh my gosh, I, I've had it like three times since so so good like i just did a, a vlog on the sabor mexican cuisine on the liberty of the seas if you guys saw that one and i i gotta tell you the el local fresh which is included i think is better than sabor yes yeah, sabor had had a couple of things but man this uh, uh, a local fresh is so so good. So um, we did main dining twice at night. Tonight is lobster night, so you know we'll go to main dining because you know Ba loves his lobster. I don't eat seafood. And um, tonight we have oh my god the show the effectors was crazy, out of this world show on board. Oh my gosh, so good. But tonight we have Showgirls, and tomorrow we have the big show at 270, which is called The Book. So I'm excited about that. And of course, tomorrow is also Coco K. I might, I'm, I'm, I have the hideaway, the adult only area. So maybe I'll go live from there if you guys think, you know, I should go live and show you around there. But I just wanted to check in and chat with you guys a little bit and you know like i said i was out here for about an hour by myself and i'm like why am i here by myself when i got friends online <laughs> so i'm so happy you guys joined me what are you guys anybody have any major plans this weekend or going anywhere we know blaine's on the carnival sunshine that's so nice where did you blaine if you're still here where what um, itinerary did you do? Because we did um, we did Aruba, uh, Curacao first, Aruba and Aruba. Uh, we had so much fun in Curacao. And let me tell you something. I didn't plan oh, excursions and stuff because by the time the girls booked and all this stuff, whatever, uh, I just like let's wing it when we get there. And guys, both times we did excursions from the, you know, from locals. And on the Curacao, we did the excursion, uh, $25 a person. 
remember here the abc items it's there's really no risk because you are here to so late at night so as long as you get up early you know anything that may happen or something you're gonna have more than enough time to get to the ship um so we did in curacao uh we walked we took you know we got off the ship and we walked to the floating bridge and we went over the bridge which was really cool and then we went to put our locks in that little place where like paris where they you lock your love with a uh, lock and key and then you throw out the keys in the ocean which was so cute we did that and then we went on an excursion to different areas and then we went to the beach and then we went back to the ship it was so fun and aruba we did the um uh, the lighthouse we did this chapel which was oh my gosh so amazing it's the tiniest little thing and then on the way to there, they had the uh, the stations of the cross uh, going to the church, which was impressive. It was so beautiful. And then we get there, we saw the church, we got to do our prayers, um, light a candle, and then it's so small that they have like mass, you know, the seating is outside. It, it was so pretty. And the lighthouse had beautiful views. Then we went to the Aruba Beach with Eagle Beach, which is gorgeous. The last time I was here at Eagle Beach, the water was super, super blue and clear and gorgeous. It was beautiful, but it was, you know, the sand, I don't know if it was the time or something. It's still beautiful. Trust me, I'm just spoiled when it comes to this stuff. So, uh, John says that he just subbed again to you because you know how YouTube does. Trust me, I know. I, 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 I was at 34.05 and then I went all the way down to... <laughs> I got friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm like, let me chat with them for a little while. I can't go on and all like I used to, but you know how it is. Yeah. Oh, you're going to the parks tomorrow. I miss the parks so much. I miss you guys and the parks so much. I know I've been there like two times. I didn't. I didn't tell you guys because it's last minute, and I feel very, you know, like, like who am I to call these people last minute and say, hey, I'm going to the parks tomorrow. Come meet me or whatever. So. When I plan a trip far in advance, I'll definitely let you guys know so we can meet up. I I miss you guys a lot. Um, I have not been to St. Lucia, which is crazy, but I've not been to St. Lucia. I have to put that on my list. Sounds like a beautiful church. Brian and I are going to tour the Vatican on Monday. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for you. That's my dream. You remember when we were supposed to do it and COVID happened and then we just haven't planned it again. So I, but my dream is definitely to get up there and, and tour the Vatican. I know it's very um, packed most times and people do whatever, but I don't care. I, that's, that's a dream of mine. So I got to get it together so I can get on a plane. I really got to get it to, for many reasons. There's a couple of things happening right now, but I just, I can't get on a plane right now. So I'm looking forward to my first cruise on Royal Icon this season, February. After 16 cruises on Carnival, are you going on Icon again anytime soon? So I want to definitely go on Icon again, but we need to talk. So, well, you know, you have my my stuff there, but any anything you need, you need to message me. I'll give you my number. So anything you need to you know you have me here to help you with it this is your first time because i'm gonna tell you it's worth every single penny and you're going to love it so much and you know i'm here to get get you through all the planning and stuff since it's your first one because you do want to do things beforehand um we'll we'll definitely talk about that yeah people say hello my friends how are you welcome welcome nice to see you here thank you so much for stopping in i hope you're well 
and we were on the icon last week and loved it oh my god thank you for your videos it helped us navigate yay thank you so much for watching i'm so glad it helped was it amazing i mean i miss you know what i miss i miss the aqua dome mm. i miss those crepes and i miss just the food in the aqua dome i loved it trust if i could eat there every single day <laughs> i probably would have <laughs> it was so good but yes let me know well i See that you loved it, but did you have any special, you know, areas that you liked? And I'm sure you saw the shows. They were incredible. What do you think of the biggest mistakes first-time cruisers make? Not booking things before you get on the ship. Like drink packages, shore excursions, things like that. If you're booking them, you, you want to book them as early as possible if on um, whatever cell there is because if it, if there's a better price at a later date you can just cancel and rebook but most of the time as you start getting closer it just starts going up in price and worst mistake is booking it when you get on board because it's full price most of the time yeah you can find deals here and there but most of the time it's more expensive and then the other thing i get nervous about first time cruisers is is you going out on your own in the ports um i highly suggest doing that in some ports you know because you save a lot of money and you know you have a local group and it's just a lot of fun to do but if you're a first time cruiser never done it there's too many mistakes you can make and the biggest one is missing your ship. So for the first time cruisers, I suggest you book your shore excursions through the company just in case and um, book anything, spa, drink packages, all that, book them way in advance. So I think that's the biggest one. Um, yes, definitely, you know, you know how to reach me through Insta Instagram. So anything you need, and I'll, uh, like I said, I'll get, um, get to my number. The boat is stunning. The food was fantastic. Exactly. I, like I said, I'm, I'm on the Odyssey and I, I, w I was telling George just the other day, oh man, I wish it had the food like Surfside Bites. You know, that was so good. The Aqua Dome, you know, the, everything like that. Here, the shows, so far, the shows we've been to have been spectacular. See, I, I, I don't doubt Royal Caribbean and 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 some people say oh you know uh, I don't go to Royal Caribbean because um you know it's more expensive or the other thing is it's not as fun as the fun ships or something but I think it's what you like to do on cruising so I love shows I absolutely love shows and I love going out to dinner you know as dates because we don't do that when we're at home George and I barely go out you know, at home because we work hard. You know, I work most of the time six days a week. Um, George works constantly too. And so we make it a point, we try to make it a point at least once a month to go out to dinner together and um, do something, but it's different on the ship. I get really dressed up, you know, do the makeup, the heels, whatever. George looks all nice at home. We're like bums, you know. I'm never kind of a bum because you guys know I love my dresses and whatever like that. But George is very simple. <laughs> so he doesn't really get dressed up, but on the ship he does. Which, by the way, let me tell you what had happened. And I'll get back to the comments here. So I'm talking about how much I love, you know, I, I call them date nights, especially on formal nights. I get to get dressed up, as I mentioned, put on my dress, whatever. I bought this beautiful new dress I was so excited to wear on uh, formal night but as we're unpacking you know George of course leaves his packing to last minute I used to pack every piece for him but as things have changed guys as you know I've been talking about it um, health wise he needs to pack himself so the I've been telling him for three days bye I need you to pack bye I need to so Finally, he, the last day, he starts packing. And then I, I'm just kind of delegating, telling him, okay, well, you need a suit, you need this, you need that, blah, blah, blah. And then he'll show me. So he shows me the suit. We put it, you know, put, put it there, everything to pack. We get here. Guess what? It wasn't his suit. It was David's suit. So Bob doesn't have a suit or slacks or whatever because he wears the suit, 
you know, just with different interiors, both both formals. So there went formal and I could not wear my beautiful dress because I'm not going to get all dressed up and him be in jeans. So I had to kind of like scramble and see what to wear that night. So I just wore a black dress and he wore a nice shirt with jeans and at least his dress shoes. You'll see the pictures, but I was so upset. I couldn't believe it. Uh, it was, it was whatever. It was uh, hard. We love the hideaway. Wasn't the hideaway so fun? I'm going to talk about that now. Um, yes, take those announcements to stay on ship time seriously. Big time. I was just telling Brian, whether it's hotels, airlines, or cruises, you got what you, you get what you pay for. Facts. Facts. Icon is worth the money. Big time. Again, if you are into the shows, food, entertainment, you're getting what you pay for. It's amazing. Hi there. Together we travel. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming in. How are you? I hope you're well. Um, yeah, it looks like it. I can't wait to go myself someday. Exactly. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you'll go soon. Um, so I'm, I'm the type now, um, that, you know, of course I get to cruise a lot more now. We're at that status. We get our discounts, all those reasons we get to cruise a lot more, but I used to save like, um, especially Disney, let's say Disney cruises. When the kids were little, I saved to, for the first time we went, I saved for two and a half years to be able to go on that cruise and take the kids. So is Disney worth it? Yes, it is. It's amazing, especially for the experience with the kids. But let's say I didn't take that many vacations so I can get them on that ship for the two and a half years that I saved money to be able to go on the first time. And then I did almost a similar thing the second time. So Icon to me is one of those cruises that are worth not taking a cruise or spending a lot for two years to be able to experience Icon. Um, and and that's, that's just my thought on that. But um, as Kali was saying, Hideaway Beach, uh last cruise after icon uh, you know a couple of weeks ago we went on the liberty and i didn't book the hideaway because i wanted to see you know the normal area which i was my favorite part of that beach anyway by the oasis lagoon um this time we do have the hideaway tomorrow but the girls are not going to the hideaway it's really expensive to buy it here on the ship and you know it is what it is but George and I are going to go, we're going to spend the morning, we're going to have lunch, and then we'll meet up with the girls on the other side. So let me know if you guys want to want me to go live and show you a little bit of the hideaway. Um, I love the pool that is temperature controlled. The pool over there at the Oasis Lagoon is not, and it was still freezing three weeks ago. The water in the beaches for us Floridians, they've been so cold, but it's enough where you 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 get it you know you get it and you just oh, get in and then you get used to the water you know it wasn't like january where it was ice ice and you couldn't get in so tomorrow i'm gonna enjoy the early morning um at 8 40 in the morning we have the mention the skydiving the indoor skydiving and then right from there we're gonna go straight to the beach at coco Cay and hideaway and uh, spend some time, some time there. So, yeah, I'm so happy you guys joined me. See, this made this made another time relaxing. Like I said, I can't be out there, and there's nothing at three o'clock. Um, there's bumper cars again, and there's a uh, country line dancing. Uh, so I think I'm gonna do the country line dancing. I don't know if the girls are gonna want to do that or the bumper cars, but see. The ocean was cold in Coco last Friday. And I was going to say, oh, I say Martin was warm. Oh, nice. Well, Coco K, I find the water is always kind of cold, uh, sometimes very refreshing if it's late, late summer or, I mean, in the summer months. Uh, but lately, I haven't, I usually, lately I've been cruising like from January into May months and then again from September. Um, 
September up. Like I'm not cruising in the summer as much as I used to. Of course, the, I used to cruise only in the summer because my kids were in school and you know, you had to do that like most families do. So now that the kids, I don't have to worry about their schooling or things like that. I definitely avoid the summer months because all the kids. <laughs> um, oh, okay, 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 I'll do that. I enjoy all the party vibe on Carnival, but I'm looking forward to the shows on Royal and all the, the other things that it has that Carnival doesn't. So I watch a lot of friends that do a lot of carnival one of their big things that they mention that they love is the sell away party which is very hype and uh, a lot of dancing and stuff like that our sell away party it is still fun but it's just not ton, tons of people at that time because there's so much more to do so then there's the balloon drop on oasis cast <laughs> which is usually at midnight, excuse me, which is usually at midnight, which is a blast. I mean, the music is going, the drinks are going, and the, then you have the balloon drop. Um, I think the biggest difference um, besides that, you know, because the clubs on, on Royal are amazing too. You have, you know, uh, red, you have a couple of, bale you have boleros, you have a bunch of areas where you have a nice party vibe. It's just not intense crazy. It's just a fun, good time. Um, and then you get on top of that, the amazing shows and the food is pretty good. Um, so I think those are the biggest difference. But hi, my friends. Welcome. Thank you for stopping in. How are you guys? I haven't been waking up early on this trip, so I haven't been seeing the morning shows, but I hope you guys are doing well. Um, yeah, this is a zoo. Love it too. Yeah, same hi. Oh, Jeremy and Cheryl, welcome, welcome. So yeah, I'm gonna be just a little bit more. I want I wanted to enjoy this. I wanted to see this new vertical thing. Um you know how that works because everybody's doing it it's kind of weird to me like seeing the black part um but i guess people like seeing it in the other format um so that's why i wanted to give it a try but yeah guys it's it's been like i said it's been a good time um uh i don't think i'll do quantum class again i, I when i could do the wonder, I mean, I, I'm so glad I did it. Like I said, experiencing the North Star has been something I wanted to do for a long time. And also, you know, the bumper cars and also the the iFly that I'll be doing tomorrow. So I'm very, very happy I did it. And again, don't get me wrong. It's a gorgeous ship and everything else has been amazing. But... It's just a preference that I have is the Oasis class, the way it's opened up. Yay, hello, my friends. How are you? He is hilarious. Well, is, it, is ours Ricky? Oh, I, no, I forgot his name. I don't know. His birthday was yesterday, and he's a little chubby. He's really funny. He's He's been really fun. But uh, like I said, it it's it's the shows like i have showgirls today and a book tomorrow but now i have to get back on the wonder because i purposely didn't watch the one of the shows on the wonder the vector the effectors i forget what it is but the effector started on this ship and since i knew it was coming on this ship i wanted to see that show first which was out of this world and then when i get on the wonder again then i'll watch because on the wonder is supposed to be part two so <laughs> i was so spoiled i wanted to see it in order and i was like we are definitely getting on the wonder again because that ship is amazing and guys i i will be going on the utopia this year and i may be just pray for me guys that i i get invited to go on the utopia shakedown like i did on the icon um, because of the icon, I gained so many new friends, you know, because I did those vlogs and those vlogs got 
so many views and it was so exciting but half the people not even half way less like not even one person i think subscribed to the channel but at least you know it was i did get a lot of new friends which was so fun so i'm hoping that same thing happens for utopia pray for me that i get invited to the shakedown and then if not i'll be on in october i don't think i'll ever do an inaugural again it was just way too expensive and it hit my pocket. I'm still paying for it. <laughs> and guys, I've been so irresponsible this trip. Like, I'm telling you guys because you're my friends. But I've been so irresponsible on this trip when it comes to the casino. I'm always so good. And I set a limit. And I don't pass it. <sighs> I lost my mind. I absolutely lost my mind. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> Gamblers Anonymous or something. I don't know. I told George, I'm like, honey, I, I don't have control. And I didn't have any control. And unfortunately, once you start losing over what your budget is, it it's not fun anymore. You know, it goes from fun to like desperation, you know, because you lost so much money. Okay, fine. I understand that I'll get a free cruise, but... It was too much money to lose. So I was irresponsible. And I'm just saying that because I don't want anybody to do what I did. It, it was, it's horrible, you know, and then you feel guilty and all those horrible things. So oh, just have control. Don't be like me. <laughs> uh, the casino is a good way to earn free cruises. Speak to the host. No, I, I got the free cruise. <laughs> I definitely got the free cruise. But uh, with the money I spent, but it's not a free cruise. And, you know, because but it's really I paid for my next cruise, you know, because that's how responsible I was like, it's going to hurt. So when you come, if you have see, the problem is I have a very addictive personality. This is why I can't do like I can't do any type of drug because knowing me, if I did, I would get hooked because I'm that thing. Like, I can't get enough of a good thing. So that's why you don't see. I'm a drinker only on a cruise. And you should see, I barely drink. Like, my girls, I can show you my refrigerator now. As Diamond members, we get four free drinks a day. In the casino, we get free drinks because we are prime. So um, I don't have to buy drink packages. Uh, um, but I always buy George the coffee card because even though, you know, you want to be have easy access to coffee. But every night what's happening is we don't drink our eight free drinks. So I have to go and say, okay, can, let me get five Trulies, three Coronas and whatever. So I have Trulies and Coronas in my in my refrigerator. The girls have them. Last night before I went to bed, I got, you know, I went there and you can share those drinks, you know, it's diamond drinks. So um, the I got the girls all their drinks so that they can have their drinks for the night. And because literally, I, you know, and of course, for other reasons, because as you know, I'm on the muscle relaxers, I'm really not drinking. So I think that's one of the reasons I lost my mind, because um, usually I'm so busy doing other things. And since I can't be running around and da, 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 I ended up in the casino and you're sitting and whatever. So you guys don't be me. <laughs> don't be me. Don't be responsible because I'm going to pay for it. My husband loses his mind in casinos on Carnival. We got lots of free cruises from it, though. He will probably do the same on Royal. <laughs> yeah, but I, oh my gosh, I just hate that I did what I did. Like, now to make up all that money is going to be horrible. But I, I hope that he wins. And there's been a lot of people winning. And that's the other thing is that you see people all around you winning and then you're like well this has to happen to me i can win you know and so it, it was a mistake i i overdid it and um i'm just i'm just hoping that i get some control of myself for the next cruises because definitely will not be able to cruise a lot if i keep doing what i did this cruise so um 
Yeah, they're wishing you good luck over there as well. Peace and blessings all. Thank, thank you so much for stopping in. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, have a beautiful day. Yeah, I think I'll go live tomorrow from um, Hideaway as well. Spend a little time with you guys and show you around before I leave to catch up with the girls. Or maybe, maybe I should do it earlier because you guys know the Hideaway has that music which will get copyrighted unless I'm further away. But yeah, I'm so glad that I spent this time with you guys. At 1.15, I have a ladies pampering party where, you know, I'll get to put some free collagen for those, you know, crazy eyes that are going, Tina, my girl, I miss you so much, Tina. I miss Wednesdays and being able to be there with you guys. But, you know, I'm working at that hour, so I can't really come in. But, oh, my gosh, it's the balcony. Yeah, I should, I should put you, let you guys see that for a while. Let me go in now that you say that. Let me... Should I change it from this format to the other one? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Hold on. Hold on. Don't mind me, guys. I'm doing this. A little ride. Sorry about that. And then let's switch the camera. Oh, thank you so much. It is. It's so pretty. It's so... I'm so happy to see you, my friend. So, so happy. Now, let me, <laughs> you guys, I always, I always make a mess out of this. Hold on. I'm trying to, hold on. What do I want to do? I want to do, I want to change. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> hold on. No, I don't. Settings. Yes, yeah, settings. Camera. This is what I want to do. Hold on. Back, back triple camera. Okay, I think, I think I got it. Yay. Okay, guys, look at this. Before I go, you need to see this. Beautiful. <laughs> like, how could you want to be out there with 10 million? Well, at least I used to be out there with everybody, but... Just this is more of my speed now, just hanging in my balcony until there's like an event or something. And then just listen to the waves. Look, I'm gonna be quiet for a moment. Like, I get mesmerized. I just sit here. Like, I told you guys before I decided to go live, I I just sit here. And I my favorite is praying, you know, meditate. I pray. I love doing the rosary on the balcony. And then I just sit here and just, I, I get mesmerized. Like, hearing the water, looking at the ocean. It's my calming my calming space it's my peace it's just it just it it just makes me feel grateful even with you know everything that's going on i feel so grateful like you know that we have a world that was created by our god that that is just it, it's incredible. It's just so amazing. My husband won last year, but we sadly paid for it on tax day this year. Oh, that hurts. Uh, wow. Thank you so much. Yay, guys, I haven't mentioned this one time. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tina. Yeah, I forget. I'm 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 such a blood. Um 
<laughs> what do you call it? Blogger these days or creators, whatever. I keep forgetting. I forget these things. But yes, please hit that like. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> Love that for you. Isn't it amazing? Tina's like 100%. Yep, doesn't matter what's going on. You look at the beauty that was created. You just have to be grateful. Very, very grateful. But yeah, I'll let you guys see this for a moment. And then I'll say goodbye. But I'm very grateful for you guys, my friends. Like I said, and I was just sitting here. I'm like, let me chat with my friends. I really appreciate it, guys. And here I am. I'm going to be quiet for you a minute. Like Drew does. What does Drew call it? Um, a moment of zen. Thank you again so much for hanging out with me on the balcony. You guys are amazing. Love you, my friends. Thank you so much for being here. Hi there. We're about to say bye, but thank you so much for coming in. I'll go live tomorrow from Hideaway and uh, show you guys around, do a little quick tour and uh, show you the beach there. It's just gorgeous. So hopefully you'll join me tomorrow. Love you guys so much. Bye.